DougDustin.com. Yeah! Well, my Kirk Kinetic trainer uh, arrived uh, about a month ago, a little more than a month. Uh, put it together pretty quick. Uh, you don't even need the instructions, but they have a handy instructional DVD and pamphlet with it. Uh, you're up and running in about four or five minutes. The construction is beautiful, as you can see. Everything's uh, pretty hardcore constructed. It's not going anywhere. It's sturdy. Let's review this thing. Hey guys, it's Dustin from RunDustin.com. And I'm on about my fifth or sixth ride on the Kirk Kinetic Trainer. And I have to say, it, it's unbelievable how quiet it is. Um, in terms of the mag trainer versus the fluid trainer. This is the huge thing. I looked around everywhere to try to find one form, one place that would give me a legitimate clear-cut answer on the difference between magnets and fluid and the, the amount of sound that it creates. And everybody was like, oh, well, yeah, the fluid trainers are quieter, not that much quieter. Well, let me tell you, the difference between a fluid trainer and mag trainer is insane. I was using the Cyclops mag trainer before, and it was unusable in an apartment. You couldn't. I had people knocking on the ceilings and from above and below saying stop. So it became completely worthless to me. Um, then I got my Kirk Kinetic in, and it's so quiet. Even at full sprint, you just, it's, it's, it's insane. You can't hear anything. It's great. The bike is louder than the actual trainer. So at that point, the, can't, the noise from the trainer is not even a, a variable anymore. So anyway, let's see if I can get a shot of the actual trainer. Super, super quiet. And I love it. So this is uh, ride number five or six. I'm going to give it a couple more weeks, try to do a review, and then we're going to put it to the ultimate test. Boston was, woke, was awakened at night one time with uh, that trainer. I tried to give it a shot. There's no way. So had to get rid of it. So then there's a little bit of a challenge issued uh, to uh, Kirk Kinetic shipped me this trainer and said, use it when Boston goes to sleep and tell me if he wakes up. Well, we're gonna answer that challenge. So, let's uh, fast forward to a few weeks from now. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Dustin from RunDustin.com and uh, today we're reviewing uh, the Kirk Kinetic Road Machine. It's a fluid trainer <clears throat> and the big thing is trying to find a trainer that I can use at night uh, to train while my son is sleeping. Will it wake him up? That's the, that's the question. Uh, the mag trainer was unusable. You just It's no way possible ever. Not only could I not use it because of my son, you couldn't use it because you'd wake the whole apartment complex up. It's ridiculous. Anyone that uses a mag trainer, I don't. You must be single or have people with earplugs or something because it's it's so loud that it's insane. So, um, let's jump on the bike and let's see if he wakes up. I don't think he will. Um, I've already ridden it, put a couple hundred miles on this trainer, and uh, it's really quiet. It's a pretty insane quiet. It hard. It's staying quiet. He hasn't woke up yet. So, we're uh, 30 minutes into the ride. 15 more minutes. Hey everybody. Just had a killer 45 minute 
very hard, geared it all the way. I wasn't messing around, I wanted to really see <clears throat> what it could do. And I got it as loud as it could get. And I still have a sleeping boy. And that, that's pretty badass. So, I'm saying this is Ron Dustin proof and Daddy proof. I'm gonna get the showers. RonDustin.com, yeah!